Today, we will tell you about the Acer Swift X Review 2021. Acer's new thin Swift X laptop's vibrant, colorful hues make it the ideal Windows option for people waiting for Apple to remodel its MacBook Air. The Swift X highlights its luxury design and lightweight form factor, in addition to surpassing Apple's expected colorful MacBook Air revamp with vivid tones. The Acer Swift X looks to bring the Acer Swift brand's economy to the creative laptop sector ahead of Computex 2021, and it's all about delivering decent specs at a low price, without relying on the extra features that drive up the price of some of the greatest laptops. So the Acer Swift X isn't the world's smallest or lightest laptop and it doesn't have a fancy OLED display or the world's narrowest bezels. You do, however, receive a fast AMD Ryzen processor and up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti, which will help you get your work done, even if you cannot afford the most expensive laptop on the market. Make sure to watch until the last because it is one of the most amazing tech you will ever see. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe. Also, press the bell button to get the latest updates. Without any further delay, let us start. The Acer Swift X resembles any other laptop in appearance, which is to its advantage. It keeps things basic, but it is not unattractive, and you will not be embarrassed to bring it out in a coffee shop if and when working on a laptop in a coffee shop becomes a thing again. The Acer Swift X is only 0.7 inches thick, that's 17.9 millimeters, and weighs 3.06 pounds, 1.39 kilograms. In 2021, that is a conventional laptop design, but it is still the ideal size for slipping into your backpack for your morning commute. Fortunately, the Acer Swift X's chassis is incredibly robust, despite its basic appearance. It feels like an aluminium case to us, and there's little to no flex anywhere. Even the display is like really sturdy, so you shouldn't have any concerns about this laptop shattering if it falls off your lap. However, the laptop's typical thickness allows for a good assortment of ports, especially by today's standards. On the laptop's left side, you'll find an HDMI connector, a USB-A port, a USB-C port that can also be used for charging, and a dedicated charging port. A USB-A connector, a combo 3.5mm audio jack, and a Kensington lock port are all located on the right side. While many laptops these days are removing larger connections, we're glad to see that the Acer Swift X keeps conventional connectors. But given that the firm is targeting creative workers and students, we're sad to say that there is no SD card reader. On the right side of the laptop, there's plenty of room. The Acer Swift X boasts a 14-inch 1080 display with a brightness of 300 nits and a color gamut of 100% sRGB. It's fine for what it is, but if you want to use it for creative work, a more colorful or a higher resolution display may be required. However, if you're doing academics or checking emails, it's practically ideal. The keyboard is also ideal for writing and is really comfortable to use. When we bottom out, travel is nice and deep and it does not harm our fingers. Many laptops overlook the need for a comfortable keyboard, but the Acer Swift X does not. The speakers, on the other hand, are essentially the bare minimum. You will not be able to fill a room with sound with these, but they will suffice if you need to make a brief call without searching for your headphones. They will, however, fall flat when you wish to listen to music. We were listening to She Passed Away's Kaswetli Katluma and the bass line basically vanished into the background and not in a nice way. But it isn't necessarily the purpose of this laptop, just remember to bring some headphones with you, especially if you need good music for your creative work. We cannot run any of the benchmarks we normally would because we do not have access to a final production version of the Acer Swift X. We do, however, have a spec sheet, which appears to be very promising. The AMD Ryzen 5000 CPUs in the Acer Swift X will offer up to 8 cores and 16 threads, making multitasking a pleasure. While the chip's inbuilt graphics are impressive, Acer is coupling these CPUs with up to an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 Ti. However, we do not believe that this is a gaming laptop. This standalone graphics card appears to be designed to help with artistic applications, like Adobe Premiere and Photoshop, rather than trying to play Cyberpunk 2077 over your lunch break. But that option is available. 
The RTX 3050 Ti, on the other hand, is a wonderful match for the 1080p display if you want to do some light gaming in your spare time. With that GPU, you should be able to play almost anything at a native resolution. However, you may need to adjust the quality settings in a few titles. Because we do not have a final version of the laptop, we cannot run it through our typical battery of benchmarks and tests to see what the Acer Swift X is capable of. However, if you look at it on paper, there's not much that it cannot do. The Acer Swift X is a low-key laptop that gets the job done. It will not exactly turn heads when you walk into your neighborhood coffee shop, but that's not the point. This could be a perfect laptop for you if you are searching for a laptop that will get the job done without any extra bells and whistles. While we've not had the opportunity to thoroughly test the Acer Swift X, it does follow in the footsteps of the Acer Swift lineup, which is something we will never complain about. This is the laptop you buy when saving money and increasing productivity are your top priorities. And these days, that's all we can hope for. Acer also announced two new Travelmate laptops in the P6 series. If the Swift X's vibrant tones are too frivolous for a more business setting, the Travelmate Spin P6 convertible and Travelmate P6 laptops are just 0.6 inches thick and weigh 2.2 pounds thanks to the use of Intel's 11th generation Core i7 CPUs instead of AMD's Ryzen processors. Because the P6 series is designed for a hybrid work environment, 5G mobile broadband access is available as an option. Both laptops include a 14-inch FHD screen with Corning Gorilla Glass protection and the same 100% sRGB color gamut as the Swift X. For drawing and note-taking, the Spin P6 includes a lockable active stylus. Acer uses a magnesium aluminium alloy for the chassis, which is stronger than only aluminium alloys to keep the laptop light and premium. With a battery life of up to 20 hours, the Travelmate P6 will be a direct challenger to Apple's M1-powered MacBook Pro 13-inch, at least in terms of power efficiency. Other highlights include up to 32 gigabits of memory, a 1TB PCIe Gen 3 solid-state drive, and MIL STD8108 certification, making it more resistant and durable than consumer laptops. When it goes on sale in December, the Travelmate P6 will cost $12.99 while the Travelmate Spin P6 will cost $100 more because of its 360-degree convertible hinge. That's all for today, folks. Tell us in the comment section what is your point of view about this simple device. See you soon with another amazing video.